six alarming signs that you have neuropathy without knowing. Do you ever experience that strange sensation on your feet or hands like pins and needles and burning pain that you cannot really pinpoint the cause? Or you may be having constipation or heart racing or excessive sweating and you don't know what's going on? Well, if so, you may have some neuropathy without even realizing it. This condition is much more than just numbness or thingling. It can cause a wide range of symptoms that impact your daily life. But don't take our word for it. Just take five minutes to watch this video and I promise you, you will come up with a better understanding of what neuropathy really is and it is hidden symptoms. You might just be surprised at how many of them you're experiencing without even realizing it. For example, have you ever had your heart racing like a cheetah on a caffeine binge? No matter how hard you try to chill, if so, you might be in the neuropathy zone brought to you by diabetes. No, it's not sponsored by diabetes, right? Yikes! Don't worry, it is not just your grandma's problem. Even the young and spry can get caught up in this exhausting condition, leaving them pooped out and unable to enjoy a jog or even a brisk walk. And that's not all, folks. Neuropathy can turn leisurely lollygagging into a sweaty struggle. Like when you eat, you may be sweating, right? Talk about disrupting your chillaxing lifestyle. It is you or a loved one. If you are noticing these symptoms, don't hesitate to reach out to an endocrinologist. They are your best friends when it comes to managing diabetes and getting your heart health back on track. Did you know that constipation or diarrhea could be an undercover for neuropathy too? Well, we all know it's, well, it sounds like a medication mischief here, but hold on to your horses. Don't forget about the diabetic neuropathy when it comes to constipation or diarrhea. You're, or you may be a metformin lover, like some people just love metformin so much. I'm like, good for you, but not really. And you have diarrhea the rest of your life. Or a Zempic devotee, you're like, hey, I'm losing weight. I don't, I don't, I don't, don't worry about the diarrhea. It's okay. Trulicity, same thing, right? If this pesky constipation or diarrhea keeps spoiling your parade, neuropathy, underlying neuropathy, could be the pulling the strings. What is crazier is how many people don't even suspect that their bowel blues are connected to diabetic neuropathy. So if your tummy has got a bad case of the grumbles, don't ignore it. It's talking to you. Get chatty with your doctor too. Unravel the mystery, discover the root cause, and request for the treatment options. Your gut will thank you for it. Next, nighttime cramps can be a real nuisance, right? It won't let you sleep. They always seem to happen right when we are about to fall asleep, and only in the evening or at night. But did you know that these cramps could be an early sign of neuropathy? It is true. Pay close attention to those cramps, especially in your cow's area, as this could indicate an issue with your blood sugars. While you may not feel any pain at the time, it is important to keep your blood sugar in check to avoid potentially painful symptoms that could keep you up all night. So next time you're jolted awake by a nighttime cramp, remember, it could be your body's way of telling you something fishy is going on here. Dealing with incontinence can also be a frustrating and embarrassing challenge for anyone. But what many diabetic people don't realize is that it could be a sign of diabetic neuropathy. While it is tempting to think of it as just another symptom of natural aging process and whatnot, but the truth is that the neuropathy can affect your bladder function and lead to incontinence issues. This is because your blood sugar control heavily affect your nerve function and your bladders are controlled by nerves. And when these nerves are damaged, it can throw your entire system out of balance. So if you are struggling 
to manage your bladder. Don't just accept it as an inevitable part of growing older. Instead, talk to your doctor about the possibility of diabetic neuropathy and explore your options for treatment and management strategies. Now, treatment and management is always the later stage. The best is prevention. To prevent that, I always recommend benfetiamine, alpha lipoic acid, or the neuropathy support that has those things. We have a lot of videos about those vitamins, so refer to them, please. Now, excessive sweating also may seem like a minor inconvenience, but it can also be a significant indicator of an underlying health problem. When your sympathetic system and nerves that go to your sweat glands are in overdrive, it can be a sign of neuropathy. Now, this malfunction can cause sweating even when eating. So, you're not sweating, you start eating, you're suddenly sweating. Crazy, right? That's a common sign of diabetic neuropathy as well. So, the sweating may be considered a typical bodily response to heat or exercise. It is still important to pay attention when it becomes abnormal. Now, noticing signs like excessive sweating, you should be seeking medical attention, especially if it is getting worse because it can lead to some problems that can create serious problems. And if you're experiencing numbness, tingling, and pain that starts at your toes and climbs up all the way eventually to your knees, you're not alone. This is a super common symptom that many diabetic people struggle with, with this neuropathy. It is something that can be both uncomfortable and difficult to manage. I know a lot of you are taking our neuropathy support and expecting immediate results. Just be patient with it. It takes time. It takes sometimes three months, six months, and you need to stay on it. I recently had a patient who said that, you know what, your neuropathy support works. After three months, he said he's been taking it. The moment he stops, the neuropathy starts coming back. So he's like religiously taking it and he's super happy about it. Still, it's important to control your blood sugars. You cannot run your blood sugars in the 200s, 300s and expect, you know, some vitamin to work. You still have to control your blood sugar levels. And one of the most effective strategies is dieting, intermittent fasting, staying low carb, using alpha lipoic acid, using benfotiamine, B-complex vitamins, and so forth. A lot of you are already using glucodefense, super rubbering from our website as well. For some of you who cannot swallow capsules, I always tell my clinic patients, just take what is inside a capsule, put in your food, and if you're not a pill person or a capsule person, you can definitely take what is inside in those vegetable capsules. So if you're really looking for a natural way to manage your symptoms and feel better and more comfortable, I would say don't ignore the power of these supplements and the power of food. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Please share. Please give a like. And stay happy. Stay healthy. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this channel so far. And I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.